Now, in this lesson, let us make manual camera controls. For that, I'm going to bring in a camera right here. And I'm just going to get out of the regular view right here. Let me just zoom out and rotate out the camera right here. This is my camera. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera onto its default location. So on the coordination, I'm going to set every value into zero right here. So zero, zero, and there you go. So zero all the way right there. So this is my default camera value right here. So after that, what I want to do is I want to add in uh, something called a null object. So null object is basically a blank object, a blank slate. So you can go over here and then work around with null. And if you are familiar with the After Effects, you might be familiar with null object as well. Null object are simply blank as you can see. So you can go over here and see that null is just empty space. So I'm just going to go over here, set it on the center. And what I want to do is I want this, I want to set the null as the parent of the camera right here. So this is my null right there. So if I were to rotate around the null, the camera rotates out as well. So let me just set the camera as the child of the null. So on the null, I'm just going to go over here and rotate the null. You can see that this actually rotates around this. I'm um, this is the null object that I'm rotating right here. And if I were to go to the camera and if I were to move the distance just like this and then rotate around the null right here, you can see that the camera actually rotates around like this, just like this, and it is quite smooth uh, to do so. So what I want to do is I want to turn this into sliders. So I want to add in sliders to this. So I'm on my default value right now. So I want one slider to control the null while other slider controls the camera distance right here. So I'm going to go on to the user data from the null. This is where I want the user data be to be. So I'm going to go into the user data. I'm going to add in user data right over here. And here you go. You have this. So I'm going to add in data right here. So I'm going to say this is going to be the first one is going to be camera rotation right here. Uh, camera rotation and the short name for it will be note rotation just like this. I'm going to add in another uh, one right here. So I'm going to say camera uh, distance just like this. And over here in the short name, I'm just going to go over here and say distance just like this. So now on the rotation value, uh, the data type is float. So on the interface, uh, you, you, you want to select this as something like a float slider. So this is the type of slider that will appear for the user data right here. So I'm going to go into float, which is the, just the value. Float slider is with the slider and the value. Float sli uh, slider with no edit field does not show the data, while longitude and latitude shows the area right here. So I'm going to choose uh, float slider for this one. So camera rotation value, I want to uh, not select the percentage, but I want this to be in uh, degrees. So um, I, I want to have value. This is the default value 0 through 360. So I'm going to say minus 500 uh, degrees to around 500 degrees. That is plus 500. This is going to be the default degree right there. Uh, once this is done, I want to set the camera distance values as well. So on the data type, you can see there's float interface is going to be a float slider and the unit is going to be real. So minimum value, let's say I want to have around minus 3000 and uh, the max value is going to be plus 3000 right here. So 3000 enter just like this. So camera rotation and distance that's okay. Once everything is done, I'm going to press okay. And in the user data, you can see that rotation and distance is here. There's no value for this one, so I just want to change that out. I want to uh, go on to user data, manage user, user data right here. And on the rotation part, I want to make sure that it is float slider, and I'm going to press OK. And you can see the data as well. So I can move this around, but no changes are actually seen over here. That is because we haven't linked it yet. So we got to do a basic uh, type of visual programming right here. And to do that, I'm going to go into null because that is where my user data is. I'm going to right click over there and I'm going to go to programming tags. And over here, I'm going to go to Expresso. So Expresso is where you can link up the uh, user datas onto the attributes of the objects. So I'm going to go over here and now I'm going to drag in the null over here, just like this. This is the null object, just like that. And I'm going to increase its size. Over here, if I want to bring in the user data, I want to bring it over here. I'm going to go over here and in the user data, there's the camera distance. Uh, that's one and user data camera rotation. That's another, another one. 
So first of all, I want to control the null. So I'm going to drag in the null again, and I'm going to drag in the camera. So on the null side, I want to control the null's rotation while I control the camera's distance. That's what I want. So distance is going to be linked to the camera while rotation is going to be linked to the null. So if I were to rotate around the null, as you can see, you can see that I'm rotating the rotation edge. So I'm going to link it with rotation edge. So I'm going to uh, drag the camera rotation, this uh, small circular part right here, drag it on to the blue part of the null and over here you see the basic properties uh, coordinates so on the coordinates i'm going to go with the rotation and rotation edge is what i want to select so rotation edge is what i link with so if i were to go to the null object and if i were to rotate this you can see that the rotation actually happens right there so rotation has been linked on the distance side, let's see the distance that I want to work with. So I want to work with the distance of the camera. And if I were to go over here, drag it backwards, you can see that the Z distance is actually being affected. So I'm going to drag the distance onto the camera right here. And on the coordinates, I'm going to go into position and I'm going to select Z. And once I do that, it has been linked. So if I were to go to now right here, now everything has been linked as you can see. Rotation controls this and distance controls the distance of the camera right here. So if I were to close this and you were to go back, you can see that I can go on the distance just like this and I can go work around with the rotation just like that. And this is how you can add in keyframes right here and create a smooth camera animation just like that. Let's say I want to add in one more value. So I'm going to uh, say everything is in a zero value right here. I want to have another rotation to tilt the camera as well. Let's say that is important too. So I'm just going to go over here on to the, uh, let me just go, go around, disable the camera view, uh, viewport. So I'm just going to go over here. So let's say I want to rotate the camera around into this direction as well. So that's how I want to rotate this around. And I want the camera to tilt. Uh, and not the null. So I'm just going to go over here onto the null object. So let me just go on to the uh, camera right here. Let me bring uh, the distance back. So for that, I'm just going to bring in the distance. I want to, let's say, rotate the camera around just like this on the um, this axis. So I'm just going to go over here onto the null value. So let me just go over here. Uh, de let, let's set everything into default. So for us that to work, this is going to be rotation P. So I'm going to go on to the user data right here again. On the user data, I'm going to add user data and I want to save this as camera tilt. So camera tilt, just like this. Camera tilt and shop name is going to be tilt. So I'm just going to remove this out. So this is going to be a degree value as well. So data type is going to be uh, something like a degree so I'm just going to say this is going to be a degree interface is going to be a float slider right here just like this and let's see the limit that I want to uh, rotate this around to so I'm just going to go over here on uh, I'm just going to press uh, ok for now so that the slider is added let's see the limit so this is going to be around minus 20 uh, let's say around uh, my uh, plus 65 degrees to around minus 65 degrees. So that is where I want its limit to be. So I'm gonna go into the manage user data right here. And then on the camera tilt, I'm just going to see the value is going to be minus 60, which is the uh, default lower value and plus 60 right here, which is the uppermost value right here. So degree minus 60 to plus 60. And I'm going to say, okay. And once everything is done, I'm going to go into uh, the null right here. Uh, I'm going to control it out. So I'm going to go into the null. I'm going to go into the value right here on the user data. I'm going to add in camera tilt. And camera tilt is going to be added over here on the camera itself. So I'm going to drag in camera and I want to go into its coordinates on the uh, rotation portion right here that is going to be rotation P just like this. So once you do that, it has been linked. And now if I were to go to user data, I can tilt it out by using this value. So I can select this and tilt it out as well. Another thing I may want to do is uh, bring this camera up and down according to the tilt as well. So I need to add in another value as well. So I'm going to go to user data. I'm going to add a user data right here. So I'm going to say this is tilt and I'm going to say 
uh, taban ba? The pedestal, camera pedestal, camera pedestal, right here. So this is going to be pedestal, which simply means moving the camera up and down. So this is going to be another value again, which I want to add into the camera. So the data, data type is going to be float. This is going to be a float slider right here. And this is going to be a unit of real numbers. So I'm going to have something like around minus 1000 to plus 1000 right here. It says as a degree, just like this. So now I'm going to add in the value onto the now object right here or uh, over here onto the co um, onto the user data. I'm going to add in camera pedestal right here. I'm going to add the pedestal. This is going to be in the Y axis. So on the pedestal, let me just drag it over here. And on the coordinates on the uh, position right here, I'm going to say position Y, just like this, and close this around. So on the now over here, now if I were to change the pedestal, you can see that it goes up and down. So these are the camera controls, as you can see. So if I were to go over here, I can control the camera distance. I can control the camera rotation. I can control the tilt. I can actually go up and down and control the tilt just like this. So I can add in keyframes to all of these. So I can add in keyframes, click and drag it around, ha have keyframes right here, and then come over um, to 15 frame. I'm going to decrease the distance right here. Maybe I want to tilt the camera a bit, work around with the pedestal and rotation. So I have a bit of an animation right there. I forgot to add in the keyframes. So let me just rotate the camera a bit. Let me work around with the distance. I'm going to work around with the pedestal and tilt add in keyframe to all of it. And this is how my animation actually works out. And over here, let's say I want to work around with the rotation, just like this. Um, and the distance is going to be like that. And I'm going to tilt the camera out. So I'm going to add in keyframe to all of this. So this is how my animation actually works out. And it is much smoother than if you were to actually randomly add in keyframes to the camera. And this is quite easy, easy way to work out as well. So that is how you can make camera animation controls manually and then uh, make out smooth camera animations inside of Cinema 4D. So if you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.